first hot lap of qualifying. Got to give me some space here on the inside, buddy. Come on. There we go. And as we get to the start-finish line, let's see what this does for me. Oh, yeah. Pole position. Welcome to the Kaibo. Let's get right to it. Gran Turismo World Series, Nations Cup, at Deep Forest Raceway. I have the pole position, and my new best friend Nick is in P2, and that's all you need to know about this video. And we're off. Now, we've both chosen the Ford GT, which is a great car. It is the Meta car, and we're on sports medium tires not racing tires no but and they're cold we have to be careful here I am trying to balance the cold tires with the pressure of being in the lead yeah 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 careful just gotta get these tires to warm up but also stay ahead of everybody Oh, don't beep your horn. Chucklehead. Okay, here we go. Nick is all over my back bumper, just checking out the rear rear mew, and he is right there in it every time. And he has a knack for getting good exit speed onto straightaways. And that's going to be difficult to overcome today. He makes a move at the end of the straight heading into the hairpin. He makes it stick. Okay, fair play to you, Nick. Let's see if I can stay with you. But again, good exit speed onto a straight and he's putting a little distance between us. I think there's still a little slipstream back here. Long braking zone, and I take it deep anyway. Now, we're going to get into this section of the track, the twisty bits, which is where I excel. And it will catch me up to him. And I think we're going to have a race on our hands today. So, getting into this corner. This is an awkward corner for me. Don't know what it is. He misses the apex, but I hit it trying to get on the accelerator early. But he does that exit speed thing really well. Trying to remember that I have a little extra speed from being in the slipstream. He takes it wide and I can go to the inside. Is he still there? Oh, he is. I had a feeling he was going to be there. I knew I had to give him some room. So now we're close heading down the front straight. And I'll just tuck right into his slipstream. See if I can make something happen to this. Going to the inside to return the favor for that back straight. Take the lead back. But the way for him to take it back is to go through me. I just set the laws of physics aside for a second. Going through is so much easier than going around. So anyway, he's back in first. And I'll just stick with him through the twisty bits.
There goes his exit speed, paying off once again as he pulls a little bit ahead. We're on lap five now, and this happens. I seem to miss my breaking point, and yay, 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 oh! Wow. Well, I guess I'm thankful for the ghosting that time. That wouldn't have been good for either of us. I would have punted him, I'd have to wait for him. Not be good. Next lap, same thing, I take evasive action, but I end up somehow with a run on him. I'll go with it. And I know I want to try to move to the inside to get around him, but didn't have the traction yet and gave him a bump. I guess that'll help both of us. And see if I can throw it into the first corner. Uh, mostly. But he'll go through me again. Can I keep him on the inside? Uh, nope, just a little ahead of me. tight close racing deep in the forest I love this track and then there's this corner that always uh, I don't know well that wasn't too bad I guess this time so up to lap 8 down the front straight we go Again, getting good slipstream action. Closing in. That long braking zone. At the first corner, he'll stay wide. I'll go on the inside. Puts me right up on his bumper. And I know this is a no passing zone. I can stay right there with him. Yep, he'll get a little squirrely. I'll look to the inside. Can anything happen? No, not quite. Oh! Oh, this is huge. He got an, a track limit penalty, half a second. And the next time we pass this penalty zone, that could be my opportunity to take the lead. You hate to see it like this, but you'll take it anyway. Okay, back into the fun section of the track. And staying right with him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little wide, but we'll stick there anyway. And uncharacteristically, I get a little run on him heading onto the back straight, which is always good. I'll have to get next to him before we get to the penalty zone. And first place is now mine. But I know it's very tenuous because that's only a half second penalty. And he is right there in my rear view mirror. And headed down the front straight now. I know he's in my slip. And this could be tight. Oh, he goes wide, scrapes the wall, giving me a little breathing space, but just a little. Two long laps ahead of me at the end of the 11th lap now. I try to break the slipstream by going to the left. Not really going to work.
and I'm feeling confident about this section of the track. Could get a little space for myself. Last lap action, and I need to hold on to this lead. Keeping it nicely to the inside. I think I may have found something out about that corner. It wasn't too bad. Let's get on the accelerator as soon as we can. Long back straight with a lot of slipstream. He is closing in on me, and I realize right about now I probably made a mistake here. I should have gone defensive, should have gone to the inside, but he did, and he's going to give me a little kiss to say, good race, buddy, but I'm taking it back. And fair play to you, Nick. That was a good move. And again, with that exit speed, it's just a little better than mine. Looks like it's going to be a P2 for me. I'll give him a few congratulatory flashes of the lights. Good job. What a fun race that was. Ugh. Nation's Cup. Love it.